Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is the look and observations video and little comments also about things that we've learned a little more. Uh, this is build 14.390 that been released on July 15th, Friday, yesterday. So I um, installed it and of course used it all day yesterday. I did not have time to make my review yesterday because of a live show for a radio channel that I had. And uh, basically, um, this is 14.390, available in Fast Ring for Exciters, both for mobile and PC. If you're in a slow ring, you've got uh, 14.388 that's now released as slow ring. Uh, some of you have been mentioning that um, you don't seem to um, be able to upgrade in the slow ring. So uh, if, if that's the case, um, of course, that there could be a problem. You know, make sure that you check your uh, settings, of course, into the, in your Insider machine. So, you know, you can go into your um, the all settings and go into the update and security. Uh, click on the left side into the Windows Insider program. Make sure that you are, you know, okay here that it's set for Insider builds. Make sure that uh, you have the correct level uh, if you're in the fast or slowing. Uh, to have these and uh, check your updates it uh, should pop up if you've changed something here remember that it could take up to 24 hours before it actually uh, shows an insider preview available um, of course <clears throat> if nothing does work and you're still on to the uh, basically into the um, I can't you know upgrade to the latest built well one of the things you can do is go into the insider uh, web page and download the image, image files of the latest insider preview uh, 14388 being released for slowing means image files might uh, follow in the next few days um, you can also wait you know into the official release and version and download the image files for that also <clears throat> install went very well for me as usual regular install uh, no flaws no problems in the install and um, was quite all right now we know that we're getting close to what's the release candidate because there is just so little problems in this build uh, one issue that he fixed was the uh, error message when you were enabling developer mode when you were in non English US uh, or computer and uh, basically, you also uh, have a problem with uh, recent fix into, that they put into place on Hyper-V firmware will affect the ability, ability to boot Windows Server 2016 Tech Preview 5 virtual machines with secure boot enabled and so on. There's, of course, a workaround to, uh, with disabling the secure boot. But uh, you know what? That's pretty much it, and that shows us that we're really, really close to what's um, what's the uh, release candidate. One thing that I do have as a problem, and I did report it again because I had it in the last build, and you know, I'm wondering, is it something that followed? Is uh, the fact that every time uh, when I use Edge, it not always goes well. It sometimes. Um, it sometimes kind of freezes up and um, pages don't appear all the time sometimes I can close edge not always I mean, you know I can be using it for an hour an hour and a half opening tabs going to websites everything is okay suddenly I get to a page and whoop, nothing appears blank page um, one of the things of course I didn't try but I should try is uh, to disable all the uh, extensions maybe it could be an extension problem of, uh, I didn't think about that. So I'm going to check it out. I'll disable extensions and uh, try it with all the extensions disabled in Edge. There's, um, is this a release candidate? You know what? <clears throat> we don't know. It could. It could, but there's no official word on this, and that's that's the thing here. But it could. We, we don't know. We'll know in a few days. But we won't know for now. Um, it, you know, will there be another build? Um, you know, we had a lot of speculation that release candidate was to be released in the past week. 
Well, the week is over, so um, could this be the official one? Um, who knows? But, uh, you know, take a look at your insider updates from time to time. And, of course, to this channel to make sure that we're uh, getting there. Some interesting tidbits um, about what's going to happen here in uh, the insider preview. Um, Donna Stockar on a Windows Weekly show this week um, was very interesting. She said, first of all, that there were some very cool things coming up this fall for insiders. So, hmm. What does that mean? Very cool things happening. So probably new features that are going to happen because of Redstone 2 that's going to be in, uh, you know, the, the uh, spring of 2017. February. We think it's February for now. Um, also, um, one of the interesting uh, things that uh, Donna Sarkar was saying on the Twitter feed is, uh, you know what? You guys are insiders. You guys use this all the time. Um, why don't you test this with your friends? Why don't you have your friends, you know, take over your insider machine, use it, and they could give you, you know, their comments and suggestions of what's happening, uh, basically. And that will, of course, you know, give a different view of the insider preview you know we're insiders we're tech enthusiasts in general we have our own little you know bubble where we look at these things and uh, you know we give our com our geek comments i would say um but you know why not have somebody that's not a geek use it and tell well you know i think this is not right and this should be better and this could be changed and i can't find this and i can't find that uh, you know, real-world tests, basically. <clears throat> so that could be an interesting idea, and I think she had a great idea by suggesting that. A few things that we know were updated also in the, um, in the Insider Preview is uh, the different apps like Groove Music. Uh, Groove Music was uh, updated, and... Um, film and TV or movies and TV, depending on what uh, country you are at, was also upgraded. There are all sorts of new features. For example, the Groove app will now suggest to you some uh, music by looking at what you actually have installed on your computer that you enjoy or not. So um, <clears throat> that's pretty cool. And uh, basically, uh, it is interesting to see that uh, you know they're making this a little better. They're making it easier. Groove isn't perfect, and there were some glitches that I did have uh, with it. Uh, and uh, I actually unsubscribed from the uh, the pass, the Groove Pass, Music Pass. It, it, it's sad because I did enjoy having Groove Music Pass, but. After about a month of usage, they start. They're starting to have all sorts of problems. I couldn't play the music I had, uh, you know, downloaded and so on. It was kind of complicated, and uh, I said to hell with it. I, I even had to call um, Microsoft because they charged twice, and you know they were very very fine. And the guy that helped me was extremely extremely professional. Called me back twice to make sure that it happened make sure I got a refund so uh, <clears throat> really interesting also uh, film movies and TV or film and TV app upgraded also with all sorts of things so that's gonna be very very nice to check out and uh, see and of course I'll be talking about these apps as soon as we are on the officially in the uh, anniversary update I will go through all of these apps so that uh, everybody knows you know what to do uh, and how to use them uh, there was a um, of course pretty much all the uh, the apps including uh, the news app in Windows were uh, updated there's uh, the store was updated so uh, we're getting app upgrades basically and uh, this is nice you know it's trying to uh, it's trying to um, 
help us learn a little more on how these will work and you know it makes it uh, more interesting to uh, use basically so uh, you know they've improved all of those in, in, in certain ways and uh, including the store there's still work to do but I think they're they're doing their, their best to have these apps work great so uh, another good build and um, you know we're getting close some of you also have been mentioning that you've had some kind of display issues with uh, these builds uh, I haven't seen any display problems uh, personally but um, apparently not, not only one you know I've had quite a few comments from some of you that um, different different viewers with problems so if you've downloaded you know 14390 why not give me your little feedback on how it goes on your machine and what it does and uh, how well it works we'll share our little comments together and see what uh, happens with this new build if you enjoy my videos please subscribe to my channel you'll be informed new videos online give us thumbs up Hopefully you enjoy our videos and uh, we'll continue, of course, following us. We'll have tons and tons of videos on, you know, anniversary update features of Windows 10. So why not uh, stick with us and learn more 